Make a beautiful piece of art that evokes the ocean and add magical bioluminescent waves and images using a Feather M4 and an RGB matrix. I'm using tabletop epoxy and alcohol inks to create the ocean. My canvas is a piece of quarter inch acrylic that I've roughed up with sandpaper and sprayed with two coats of mirror effect spray paint. This will allow the light to come through my finished project while hiding all the electronics inside. Mix up the epoxy according to the directions. I'm using two cups of epoxy for my one foot square sized piece. Divide the fully mixed epoxy into individual color cups. I have five different cups for my translucent alcohol ink colors, and one cup with some sand, and one containing white mica powder to make the surf. I'm reserving about a quarter of the epoxy in the main mixing cup, so I have some clear epoxy to use as well. Put some tape on the back of your piece to make cleaning up any drips a little easier. It's best to work in a clean, dust-free environment. Start with the sand and pile it up to make a nice beach. Add the alcohol ink colors next and gently mix them until you get a nice gradient. Fill in the rest of the area with clear resin. Wait a minute or two and then pop any bubbles that appear with a heat gun. We'll let this layer sit for just a moment to begin to cure. Meanwhile, add any shells or beach decorations you like. Dip them in the clear resin before placing them down on the beach to give them a nice wet look. After about two or three minutes, it's time to add the white surf. Be sparing with the white. It's always easy to add more, but you don't want to put too much on there. Use a hair dryer set to high to create the magic ocean waves. I let my piece cure overnight and then decided I wanted a little more interest, so I added a second wave the next day. You don't want to wait more than a day or two between pours or your epoxy might not bond as well. I'm using opaque mica powder to create the surf. It's got some iridescence to it and it looks fantastic combined with the translucent alcohol ink colors in the waves. The RGB feather wing comes with all the connectors you need. Solder both headers to the feather wing, then solder the screw terminal, the power terminal, and the ribbon cable connector. Finish up by soldering the feather to the feather wing. Insert the RGB matrix power wires into the screw terminals and plug in the power and ribbon cables. Once everything's working, glue your components inside your frame. I used rare earth magnets and spare metal nuts to attach the resin panel to the box. You can download the code and images from our step-by-step -step build tutorial at learn.adafruit.com. The link is in the comments. If you like this project, please click that like button and remember to subscribe for more fun electronics projects from Adafruit.